I've got a new package in the mail today. It's from Cleveland Music Company. It's from Reverb and should be a new pedal kit to build. It's the Hot House pedal kit. So let's unbox it and see how it works and then build it. And let's try to open this small box with a pair of scissors here, maybe. So I'll just cut here. Cut here, and the package is very looks very sturdy. And then let's try to open it and see what we have inside. We have, we have a receipt. And we have some protection. And here we have the actual content. It's very well packaged. Yeah, we have some components. So jacks and knobs. And we have an enclosure here. Very nice enclosure. White, green and white. Green and white. Then we have a bag with the geometers and switches. And then we have another box which contains hopefully yeah, the, the small PCBs. One, two. And three PCBs. Yeah, and nothing else. Oh no, we have a sticker here. Start with the 20 pin headers. It's easier if you stick the, the daisy board in and then solder one or two maybe of the external pins and then when once everything is correct, solder everything together. Then use some masking tape to protect the pedal enclosure and it will be used for positioning components and then drill some hole with your screwdriver and then clip the bit that's on the potentiometer to keep them in place. Just make sure that everything is flat, double check and then you can proceed with the solder on the first row of potentiometers. And do the same with the other potentiometers. So again, use the enclosure to align them properly and double check if everything is flat and then solder all the potentiometers. Repeat the same operation for the switches. So using again the pedal enclosure to align them, just make sure everything is flat and then solder everything together. Then you need to solder the two small flat cables. This is very easy, just insert them and then use gravity to hold them in place and solder everything. Now it's time to solder the foot switches, again using the pedal enclosure as a template to keep them in place and check everything is correct and then solder the two small flat cables. And now it's time to solder the power connector on the remaining board, it's very, this is very easy. And then you also need to solder the two jacks. Again, it is very easy. Just make sure that your orientation of the board is correct. Now solder the longer flat cable to the jacks and then solder it to the full switches board. Now we are finally ready to put the secret boards into the pedal enclosure and hand tighten some of the potentiometer. Just make sure everything again is aligned and flat and proceed tightening all the different nuts and bolts. Insert the two LEDs before installing the foot switches and then hand tighten them and position the LEDs and solder them. Last quick check and then proceed tightening all the different bolts for the potentiometers and the switches and the outputs. Final touch Install the knobs, so put all the potentiometers at their minimal position or the maximum if you prefer and tighten the, bolt, the knobs. Then it's time to close the, the enclosure and the pedal is ready.
We now need to install the firmware. So first of all, go to Cleveland Music Corporation GitHub. Then choose the Hothouse examples. And then simply go to releases. Here there are the different firmware that you can install. And we have binaries for September. Just make sure that these are stereo. So if if you like me, you have the mono version, you need to install the older firmware from August. So just choose one and download it. I'm choosing the shimmer verb. And then it's time to program. So go to the Daisy programmer. You need to put the unit into DFU, so just click the two small buttons that are on the DAISY board to put that, that in DFU. That means it's able to receive firmware. Then to connect to the DFU unit you will be seeing. Then select the firmware that you want to install. In my case, again, I'm using the shimmer verb. And that's it. Now we are ready to program. So just click on program and firmware uploading will start. There's a small program progress bar going on. And after a couple of seconds, everything is done. And now we are ready to test the pedal.